What's up, guys? I'm Jordan. And I'm Christina. And we just want to have a conversation with you guys. Yeah. This is something that we do on a regular basis, and we were like, hey, why not? Let's talk okay. with the people. Let's talk. Let's talk about it. Today, we kind of want to talk about confidence. That has been a conversation, an ongoing conversation for like a couple weeks now. Yes. It feels like we've been talking about confidence for a hot minute. And um, we have some interesting, I guess, some <laughs> stories we want to just share. I like our perspectives about just how we feel about it. Right. Um, <laughs> so, but, yeah. I mean, it started, <laughs> it started with, we're both goofy. Um, <laughs> but it started with the phone call. And I was on a phone call with, like, some friends or whatever. And I really needed to get off the phone. And I didn't. But the way we got off the phone was um, my friends was like, okay, bye. And I was like, dang. <laughs> I could have said that myself. And so, like, over the period um, of time, like, really my lifetime, really, I've always just struggled with, like, stepping up and, like, being confident and saying things. Mm -hmm. And so, whereas I could have easily said, hey, guys, like, I have something to do or, I mean, I may just want to get off the phone. I'll talk to y'all later. I took it out and stayed on the phone until somebody dissed me out, dismissed me out of their life. And so I was like, man, mm -hmm. I need to work on that. Yeah. yeah. I talked to her about that. And so she had a thing with that. Yes. So like the assertiveness. And so mine was very similar to his, but uh, mine was more or less from the angle of, um, <laughs> I used to get bitter because I felt like my friends should just understand that I needed space. Or my friends should understand that I was busy. And I don't know whether it's a female thing. I've talked to other friends of mine, other girlfriends of mine. And we've been like, look, man, I don't know why. Even in relationships sometimes we'll be like, I don't know why he just don't know. Why he doesn't, why don't he understand what I'm thinking? You know, and so of course we ask him for a little bit too much. But I used to be a little like bitter sometimes when I'd be like, man, you know, I'm, I'm busy. I have something to do, but like we're still on the phone. But I would never say anything. And I was telling Jordan earlier because I talked to Jordan a lot. And I was telling him, I was like, man, look, <laughs> you tired of me. Talk to talk to me. <laughs> but tell me how you really feel. <laughs> but, um, yeah. <laughs> so uh, I was talking to Jordan and um, I was like, man, you know, I, I just feel like sometimes, um, sometimes it's just really difficult because I know for a fact if I ever asked Jordan, if I ever said, look, can I just get some time? Or, you know, I don't really want to talk today. Or if I ever said anything like that, then I know. We can talk for 10 minutes. <laughs> Look, we can talk for 10 minutes. If I ever said anything like that, then he would be like, okay, cool. And I don't know what it is if it's like the um, the anticipation of having that conversation or, you know, like, is he not going to be my friend anymore? Like, are my friends not going to like me if I don't have time anymore? If I don't have time, my friends going to go and talk to somebody else. Like, I don't know. Like, And also, I'm new to friendship, so. Yeah, and I'm, I'm very familiar with friendships. So <laughs> that's what we're different. The crazy thing, we kind of do the same thing sometimes when it comes to this. Um, like, Christina <laughs> will be like, She'll say something. Man, I wish I knew how to describe it. Like she'll she'll say something that will that will kind of like let you know that she's feeling this type of way, but she'll suggest that you do something, but it's really what she wants. And she's like, I'm like, that's not how that works. And so I'm like, no. I mean, I even did it with my sister the other day. Um, so you know, like I don't wear shoes in my house, and so like I take off my shoes there. I always make it a point, like, to make it obvious that let me take off my shoes <laughs> instead of saying, hey, y'all, I don't, you know, I don't want shoes in my house, so I mean, I would prefer for y'all not to either. Mm -hmm. I'm just doing something that's really, like, passive instead of just mm -hmm. being confident, you know, in my standards or whatever my standard is for my house. Mm -hmm. So, um, this is some things that, you know, I can work on and, you know, we kind of just, we just sharing, like, how we feel about certain things. That really segues into boundaries. Yes. Yeah, that totally segues into boundaries. And I mean, you were just speaking to like household boundaries. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I know that could be a whole nother topic. Whoa, whole nother discussion. We yeah. probably be talking about that for <laughs> like a couple hours. Yes. But um, <laughs> just, I mean, being confident in those boundaries, because we have talked about this before, just like things that we allow in our house. Mm -hmm versus things that are unacceptable and it, like it doesn't matter who comes like still holding right. on to like that same standard and you know enforcing it but 
Yeah, that's interesting. We had a couple <laughs> conversations. About yes, I am definitely a boundary pusher, and Christina like, is not. Okay, yeah. so no uh, boundaries. She, oh. yeah, she, she likes the boundaries. Huh? Yeah, yeah, we get into it all the time. We don't really get into it, but you know, we have our little. Uh, what, is it? what? We have our little debates. We debate probably every day. Um, yeah. That's probably something else that I mean, we we're together a lot, but we view things totally different mm -hmm. okay but anyways so yeah so oh wait what? so with boundaries um because i was just looking at our list because we have a list a little pineapple hey. some stuff to talk about um so boundaries like how they directly i guess affect confidence mm -hmm. um whether you are really confident versus whether you're not so confident. I think boundaries is a really good indicator of confidence, like exercising your boundaries. Like when I see a person who, especially in, in business, I use that for example, because we, we both graduated with a degree in business and we hey. talk about business related Whoa. things all the time. Hey. <laughs> um, and so like when I see a business owner that really exercises boundaries, entrepreneur, of, of um, you know, entrepreneur, employer whatever when i see people in a profession that exercises boundaries it is like wow i'm always kind of like infatuated yeah. oh what i wish i could do yeah. that and it, and it like in in my mind it's like oh that's so far-fetched yeah but it's really like saying yes <clears throat> saying no yeah you know, like, i mean it's so simple it's when you simple. think about it but it, i don't Why know is it maybe, so hard? Like, probably because like as human beings like mm -hmm. You know we're always considering other people's feelings or something and mm -hmm. i know for myself like um me like exerting my boundaries i'm always thinking about the other person yeah. and so if you know me closely then you probably know that um sometimes when things come out of my mouth like they are kind of harsh and so but that's not my intention no. and so yeah. um when I say things like it stops me from from saying so much stuff because I'm like, man, what if I say it the wrong way? Like I have yeah. this bad track record of yeah. saying stuff the wrong way, and yeah. like um, I can actually work on you know like those boundaries, um, just you know stating my boundaries and not actually worrying about mm -hmm. what people will say, mm -hmm. um, and just being confident in what I say. And if I need to apologize or like cover it up later, I just have to trust the fact. Um, that I had good intentions about it and that my heart was pure in the moment. Mm -hmm. And so that's all I can stand on yeah. when it comes to like forcing my boundaries or whatever like that or just relaying my boundaries to the next person. Yeah, that's like really a rule in our friendship too because um, like it is difficult sometimes like to um, like hold on to how you feel about something because you're like, I don't want to hurt the other person's feelings, right. but I'm bothered by something. Yeah. I can't express this, but I need to get this out. Yeah. And so like a rule in our friendship is that regardless of how it comes out, like we do understand the heart of the other person. And so at the end of the day, it's like, it may be, it may not come out right, right. but we'll work through and we'll figure out, you know, get to the bottom of it and, you know, figure out what's really going on, but don't hold that in. So yes, because once you hold it in, um, Bitterness. It's like, like <laughs> uh -huh. that meme that's like when a girl uh, actually like voice her problems and it's like the check engine light and every other no. light on in the car. <laughs> that's what it turns into. <laughs> For real. And it's like, well, let me tell you about when you made me mad last week, oh, last month and all of this stuff. So um, I think it's best just to like voice, you know, <clears throat> your concerns then. And this is, it all relates to like boundaries and stuff like that because it teaches people not to cross certain areas mm -hmm. or whatever and like i mean there was an instance where i mean i crossed some of christina's boundaries sometimes and uh we had to talk about it and ask me have i crossed it again <laughs> <laughs> no but it took but honestly it took a long time for us to get to that point and um like the conversation was really heated that's the most heated <laughs> conversation we've ever had like i mean she might have like shed it a tear Ooh. oh my god <laughs> I remember. Yeah, I do remember. Yeah, that was I, me. I it you. I it no, you. Okay. <laughs> but, no. but yeah, so like I boundaries remember. are really, really, really important in friendships and business. Um, people take you extremely serious when you have um, boundaries in business. Um, when you dress a certain type of way, it's just people just have this respect for you. Um, 
that you know they that they wouldn't have if you lack the boundaries um and it just teaches people how to approach you how to address you it just lets others know how to tolerate you um what you will tolerate um so it just it's really good that we can just get a grip on it um and um it's stemming from being confident in our true standards um, yeah. and our values and knowing that sure. hey this is my value for a reason and i'm gonna stand by it so i think that it helped you mentioned something. So you were talking about um, how um, us dressing some type of way mm-hmm. may also um, maybe present as more confident or you maybe you were alluding to that. Mm-hmm. And so um, we're millennials. So I know that it looks a lot different from maybe what the information that we were taught when we were in, in college. And, mm-hmm. in, you know, because um, back then and look, I'm saying that like we're real old, huh? <laughs> back then, yeah, for yourself. I know. <laughs> I was, back then it was kind of like you know you have to if you're a business owner you have to be in a suit and tie every single day but i mean we as millennials we're understanding that you know wardrobe uh-huh. is an outward expression of you know who you are your brand you know you're branding like we are branding ourselves yeah. every single day like just by living life we're living and we are our brand mm-hmm. like that's just it you know, so, you know, I've seen a lot of um, millennials do really, really cool things, get creative with styles and yep. stuff like that. And I do like to see that. And so by no means are we saying that you just you're restricted to like a suit and tie. But really, the way you dress, like you're speaking volumes to um, what you're trying to put out there. So if it's a business, you know, if you're presenting yourself um, as the CEO of whatever business, then, you know, what you're wearing, you know, and how you're acting, how you're presenting yourself right. and how you're carrying yourself, how you're exercising your boundaries, that's going to be a direct reflection of how you conduct business. Yep. And exactly in like how people perceive you. And so like yeah. I can have on the earliest pair of shoes. Okay. Mm-hmm. And, um, and I'd be walking with my head up and, you know, very confident and I have a briefcase maybe or mm-hmm. something or a, a man bag or whatever you want to call it, um, a pen in my pocket. And people would take me really serious versus me wearing those same ugly shoes or something and my head is down and it's like, okay, well, apparently he's not confident in what he's wearing mm-hmm. either. So why would I even take him serious? And so like when you are confident, be confident in what you wear. Like that is, I love clothes actually um Does. i'm actually a little bit traditional in my clothing mm-hmm. believe it or not but i be trying to push sometimes. the envelope sometimes. <laughs> sometimes i really do i try um it's a little difficult but like just be confident whatever you put on that day just wear it okay look good and wear it if you are confident in it others will perceive the way that you present yourself yeah I mean, like, how do you be confident? How how do you um, be confident in what you decide to wear? So a lot of times we talk about confidence and it's like, what is that? What does it look like? And so it's making a choice. I really think confidence is a choice. You know, I I, I do. Um, When you wake up in the morning, if you put on whatever clothes you put on, you decide that, hey, I look good. And that's how it is what it is. So and it's not like, always easy either. No, like, it's not easy. Yeah, like making a choice. I mean, you, you get to make a, a good choice mm-hmm. or maybe a better choice. It yeah. could be possibly. It could possibly be bad. Yeah. But um, we we always talk about making choices. And sometimes it's like, okay, well, make a choice. And it's yeah. like, okay, well, what if the choice is not easy? Yeah. And so a lot of things that, I mean, a lot of choices that we have to make, they are not easy. And yeah. choosing to be comforted despite um, <clears throat> what you're dealing with or, you know, what what below the surface stuff that other people don't see um you can choose to be confident and and sell that confidence so speaking of like good and bad you know choices i think in life we somehow believe that if you make a bad choice if you confidently make a bad choice then you know it's 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 identified as failure right like you fail (laughs) <laughs> you know, and so instead we're like, okay, well, I'd rather be mediocre or, you know, I'd rather halfway do something, um, you know, and, and not confidently just to kind of see how people feel about what I'm doing, you know, because I don't want to just throw myself out right. there and be too confident, <laughs> yeah, I don't be you know, too just be off the wall wrong, <laughs> you know, so I just kind of ease on in there. But then, so confidence, I think as that relates to it is we have to also be confident enough 
to admit when we're wrong. Yeah. You know, be vulnerable and and say, hey, I might have made a mistake mm -hmm. or hey, I might need help. Mm -hmm. You know, because there's confidence in that as well. Confidence yeah. doesn't mean you know everything. Wow, that is really good. That's yeah. really good. You know, I yeah. like to talk. I am not going to talk about nothing else, okay? <laughs> I'm just going to let her talk because I was about to preach. Why? Well, really... Don't preach, No, yeah, I am not Don't going preach. to preach. But I, <laughs> I will question. say that, like, I mean, everybody can look back at their life and see where they made a wrong choice. Yeah. And they just thought they were so confident at the time. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, but it's just, it's just a part of life. So just being confident, um, you know, in what at least what you think is right, you know. Yeah. Not saying go out there and do wrong things, yeah. but just be confident in at least right. what you think is right. And you know, when you look back at your past, and even if it was a wrong, confident decision, it's like, man, well, at least I put my best foot forward. Yeah. At least, you know, yeah. <laughs> I had good intentions when I was doing it back yeah. then. Yeah. So I mean, making bad decisions uh, is a part of life. Yeah. Um, no, not really controlling it at all. Mm -hmm. Can't control it. So no. And really and truly, I mean, if you fail to put your best foot forward, then you'll never know how to how to measure yourself or, you know, to what degree. How how good am I at such and such? I, I don't know because I've never really given my all. And, you know, like staying in that place of I'm just going to ease on by or just not, you know, do too much. Like, you know, being in that place, you know, it, it really hinders your growth. You're, you're not going to grow because you're not going to stretch yourself. Yeah. You're just going to be comfortable there and you're just going to sit. Right. <laughs> I was, I don't know what I was listening to. Maybe we listened to it together. We did mm -hmm. on the way to, um, I don't know where we were. We were somewhere, but we were heading somewhere. And the man was saying how, um, you only get stronger by lifting, um, by working against your resistance or something like that. To the uh, Ritter. I don't. I guess okay. it was the rhythm, but okay. you only get stronger by, um, you know, working against your resistance. And it's mm. like, a, if I'm lifting 50 pounds, oh, that's actually yeah. horrible. Yeah. But if I'm lifting 50 pounds mm -hmm. this week, um, I don't want to be lifting 50 pounds in the next month. You know, I want to yeah. eventually go up. Yeah. So, oh, yeah. It just speaks to, you know, putting your best foot forward and just being confident yeah. um, in whatever area that is for you. Absolutely. I can relate to that analogy too. Just being an athlete is like, you know, that 50 pounds should be a little bit easier. Like it should be or 10 times easier if you're constantly using it and you, if you're not going to continue to build the muscle that you want to build and, and prep yourself the way you need to be prepped mm -hmm. by whatever season time or whatever you're meeting your goals if you do not stretch yourself. But yeah, that's really good. Um, what else we have on this list of things to talk about? So, oh, friend circles and family. So boundaries are confidence as it relates to friend circles and family. So I think that was a little interesting because um, ironically, and this is just my belief, I believe that as much as it just seems like it's common sense that you be so confident amongst your like family and your friend circles. Like I'm the most confident person in the world. For some reason, this is the case of me. I am way more confident outside of, like, specifically my family. I love my family. My family is super, super supportive, but I'm <laughs> so... Really are. They are. I love my family. I'm in my house right now. <laughs> like, <laughs> they're in the back. But, um, like, I am very, very confident around strangers. Like, I am confident around strangers, and I think it's I important. We are, we are <laughs> opposite. And for some reason, I really think it's because... The way that I see myself. So I see myself doing a whole lot. And my mm -hmm. imagination is, is huge. And so sometimes the people that are constantly around you, it's like they just, they see you, but they don't really see you. They like, don't, they don't see you. You know? Yeah. And it's like you're so close and it's almost like when something is, is so, so close to you, when it, it's right here, you know, the vision is distorted. And so when you back away from it a little bit then you can see it a little little more clearly but um it's had me thinking about that for some time because i'm like man it just doesn't make logical sense right. because you'd be like oh those people that your day ones you people talk about your day ones they got your back they're gonna be here for you through everything and granted they are yeah. but i know steve harvey mentioned this one time and it uh it really stuck with me just about how you know you can't wait for the vision like everybody else to catch up with the vision you know like to understand the vision 
um, that you may have. Sometimes it, it requires you progressing, doing the work, you continuing to maybe walk on your own, you know, to some extent when when God has shown you something. But I mean, it was just like that really gets me because I'm like, wow, this doesn't make logical sense. Like, why do I feel <laughs> like this? Okay, so what's your take on it? I um, know. oh, I, I mean, I definitely have the same take. Uh, but you know. Our family and friends, um, and I've I've actually been that friend, believe it or not, to where <clears throat> it's been a little bit difficult for me to like support my friends in some things, and it doesn't mean that I didn't support them. It just means that like I was so I I just expected and curiously <laughs> laughing at me all the time because and <laughs> what <laughs> oh, this is crazy, but. I just expect greatness all the time, y'all. I just expect things to be great. <laughs> and so it's like, okay, you're supposed to do that anyway. I expected you to do that anyway. You're yeah. great. And so, like, I'm having to come back and, like, rewind um, and actually be like, okay, like, hey, you have to be, like, more supportive in the adventures, if that makes any sense. Yeah. I mean, I'm supportive. But you have to be, like, more intentional mm -hmm. in the adventures of doing things and not just expect them to be great all the time. Yeah. Actually let them know that you're, like, proud of them. Mm -hmm. And um, I think that that's what happens with family sometimes, that they expect you. They're already used to who you are. Like, they already, they already know your talents. They already know what you're good at. Yeah. Um, because you're doing it all the time, but when it's time to like actually like make a business out of it or like venture to something mm -hmm. great, it's like, girl, yeah, boy, sit down. I know. <laughs> and it's yeah, like, I but what you mean? And so it's like, well, you don't support me. And it's like, I mean, for them to be so close, like, how could they recognize the greatness if that makes any sense? Yeah. And so like, it it takes you to go off and do something where somebody else is unfamiliar with their gifts and talents for them to be like, oh, wow, like my son, daughter, sister, brother is really talented, is really gifted. So yeah. that's my take on that. Absolutely. I agree. And I think as this kind of comes back full circle, um, the whole conversation about boundaries and, and confidence in general, it can help you because I know our, our pastors mentioned a lot uh, about Living Water how, Ministries International. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, shout out. Um, like they mentioned a lot about how a lot of people may feel like you need to move off far away in order to get things accomplished or in order for those opportunities to come. But I think as this kind of comes back full circle, the boundaries along with confidence, it essentially kind of it prohibits you from even having to do that mm -hmm. or, or feeling like that's your last resort option. Because if you do increase the amount of confidence that you have, which is that choice, yeah. you know, and you establish those boundaries, then you're no longer trying to say that I have to go and seek other places. You're 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 able to utilize what you have, you know. I so I mean, I, that's something. <laughs> <laughs> the doors of the church are open. open. <laughs> I can't you. But Ooh. I mean, so we just had a couple of things that we really wanted to talk about. And um, we do want to continue yeah. to, to do this, you know. Uh, this is long ago. We were supposed to be able to do this, y'all. Yeah. We were oh, then okay. supposed to make this happen. but Before uh, quarantine. <laughs> BQ. Before quarantine. Before quarantine. <laughs> um, but life gets in the way. And then you procrastinate and blase, yeah. blase. Um, yeah. Oh, and then for me, it was like confidence. confidence oh, that confidence. Was, yeah. So okay. to talk about confidence when you just struggle a little bit with Listen. that whole thing i mean you don't have to be all the way there to help somebody right. out come on <laughs> um but we are we are going to continue this thing uh we're not sure how often but um we definitely want to hear some feedback from you guys of what you want us to talk about what yeah. you want to hear what you want to talk about because we are definitely going to gauge you in some um lives so maybe instagram and yeah. facebook lives yeah so um we're just excited about continuing this conversation um we the talk all day every day yeah. Um, so <laughs> this really is the norm for us. Yeah. We're excited about it and we're excited yeah. to just hear what you guys have to say as well. Yeah, so comment below, let us know. And even if you have some ideas right. some, for some topics for next time or as it relates to confidence, if there's some more things that you would like for us to go in depth on. Because right now we didn't really go super scripted. Right. Um yeah. We just wanted to talk like we normally right. do. So but yeah, well, we that's said, I guess that's it, y'all. Oh wait, wait. Oh, yeah. we go. I don't know. You close this out. I was like gonna say Take it away. Oh, okay, okay. I was gonna say take it away. But you want to do it, Lost Brand? Oh no. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> Bye, y'all. We'll see y'all next time. Holla. <laughs>